Ukrainian military intelligence has revealed that North Korea has delivered 50M, 1989 Cokes and 170mm tracked self-propelled howitzers to Russia, marking an intensified phase of Pyongyang's support for Moscow in the ongoing war in Ukraine. This significant development, reported on November 16, 2024, by the British newspaper Financial Times, follows earlier reports of North Korean troops being deployed to the conflict. While this information has yet to be independently verified, the potential arrival of these heavy artillery systems could dramatically influence the battlefield. The M1989 Koksan is North Korea's most powerful self-propelled howitzer, featuring a 170mm caliber capable of firing up to 60 km with rocket-assisted projectiles. This long range makes it a crucial tool for extended artillery warfare, pairing mobility with formidable firepower. Mounted on a track chassis, it is designed for rapid deployment and sustained operations, aligning well with Russia's artillery-centric military strategy. As of 2024, North Korea's arsenal includes around 8,600 towed and self-propelled artillery pieces, underscoring the prominence of artillery in its military doctrine. Self-propelled systems such as the M1989 play a vital role, providing the flexibility and reach necessary for strategic operations. North Korea's artillery force also includes the M1978 Koksan, introduced in the late 1970s, known for a similar range of up to 60 kilometers. The M1991, a 152mm howitzer based on the Soviet D-20, also forms part of this lineup, mounted on tracked vehicles for enhanced mobility. North Korea's modern advancements include the M2018 series, which features 122mm and 130mm self-propelled guns with fully enclosed armored turrets. These developments reflect North Korea's focus on blending protection and firepower. The specific numbers of each model are not publicly available, but collectively they form a significant portion of North Korea's artillery strength, emphasizing mobility and firepower as key strategic goals. The reported transfer of M1989 Koksan howitzers to Russia could potentially address challenges faced by Russian forces, including artillery shortages. These systems would enhance Russia's ability to conduct long-range strikes, targeting Ukrainian supply routes, infrastructure, and defensive positions from safer distances. This move highlights an expanding military relationship between North Korea and Russia, with North Korea likely receiving economic or technological benefits in return. Despite the seriousness of these reports, confirmation of the M1989 Koksan howitzers in Ukraine remains absent. No visual evidence or operational data have emerged to validate the claim, prompting caution among Ukrainian officials and international observers. Analysts continue to monitor for any signs that could corroborate the presence of these systems on the battlefield. If true, this deployment could compel Ukraine to reconsider its counterbattery strategies and adjust resource allocation to counteract the new threat. The involvement of North Korean artillery would also underline the global nature of the conflict, as Moscow seeks military support amid tightening sanctions and logistical strains. This development raises broader concerns among Ukraine's allies about the expanding scope of the war. The deepening ties between Russia and North Korea could trigger further diplomatic and economic measures from the West, aimed at counterbalancing these alliances and addressing the shifting dynamics of the conflict.